the children this is mousmi science teacher mangala vidya mandira i hope you all have learned this lesson already we have started previous video nutrition in animals in that already we have discussed introduction then uh, different way of taking food as well as just we observe the digestive system okay today we are going to discuss digestion process in human beings uh, i hope you all have drawn the diagram as well as you have uh, read the textbook yes so every time you should read the textbook first neatly then you should go for the question answer or uh, watch the video then again you read the textbook it is most important okay now already we have discussed this digestive system of human beings here how many um, parts are there in digestive tract or alimentary canal already we have discussed like mouth esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine then rectum and anus okay then also we have discussed salivary gland liver then uh, pancreas these are the uh, digestive glands okay today we will start the digestion process happen in the digestive system let's see so what happen to the food in part of the digestive tract first one is mouth or buccal cavity okay so our digestion process will start from the mouth that means when we are taking food that means we are injecting food to our body this process is called ingestion okay so inside body who and all will help means which part of the mouth will help to digestion that is teeth tongue and salivary gland okay so these three will be helps to digestion process in the mouth okay let's see what will happen first one is teeth we all know that it will help to chew and break down the food into small pieces so human being has two sets of teeth already you know that i know you have already learned let us let us just recall so first set of teeth will come in our young age 6 month of age it will start growing then 6 years of age it will start break down and we will get the new permanent teeth so first one is milk teeth then permanent teeth okay so it will helps um, so these two set of teeth milk teeth and permanent teeth all human beings have so after reaching to the adult age we all have the permanent teeth total 32 pair of uh, 32 uh, teeth we ha teeth we have okay now see this or if we open our mouth we can see our teeth okay teeth tongue now we will see the different names of the teeth and their function we have total eight incisors so we our teeth are be uh, decorated in the two jaws this is lower jaw and this is upper jaw so how many teeth are there in 16 teeth are there in lower jaw 16 teeth are there in upper jaw so incisors are first front four teeth up and four teeth in lower jaw these are incisors so the function of incisors you know scissors function is cutting the thing so incisor function also the same it will cut the food item or it um, we are using for biting any food item okay then canines canines are total four after the incisor this side one this side one similarly in upper jaw also these are canines canines helps to tear the food okay now you know uh, in carnivorous animal those who are tearing the flesh of other animal they are canine teeth are two sharp you might observe seen in tiger and lion this this canine teeth is two sharp and long okay the next one is premolar premolar after the canine both the side we have this side to this side to premolar so in lower jaw four upper jaw four total we have eight premolar teeth it helps to grind then this uh, molar we have this side three and this side three so lower jaw three low upper jaw three uh, so total this side three three six this side three three six total twelve we have molars and these molars are we call grinder 
teeth that means it will grind neatly it will most helpful teeth to the chew the food so molar and premolar both will helps to grind the food and chew the food so these are all are present in our mouth so you understood teeth will break the food particle in small species next salivary gland so salivary gland will secrete the saliva which broken down the starch into simple sugar okay so when we are feeling watery we will get the water so this side our salivary glands are present okay so this salivary glands will be held secret the saliva and it will help the digest the starch into simple sugar that means digestion process starts inside our mouth itself so okay when food we start chewing with the help of saliva food started so only the carbohydrate based food will be uh, digest in the mouth okay so now if you do want to do the experiment take little bit chewy or uh, chew food from the mouth and um, add some uh, iron solution you can't see the uh, change of the color because you already know I already shown the activity that when we will apply a little amount of uh, iron solution on the carbohydrate it will change color in bl bluish black okay but when some food item it will be digest inside our mouth the color will not get change okay so next tongue so tongue it has uh, helps um, uh, to mix the saliva with the uh, food during chewing and it helps to swallow the food okay so it is a uh, very muscle kind of things it has lots of dot dot parts in the uh, there so these are called taste buds that's why whatever food we are eating we are getting taste only in the mouth inside the body will not get any taste okay so in the tongue if you observe that front part it has the okay so this front part it has a so a sweet taste then salty will be just beside these two okay so salty this is then little behind it has the sour taste and that complete behind we will get the bitter taste that's why after eating bitter we will feel till this much it is the taste we can feel yes now so this is the function of a teeth sorry tongue okay so um, a tongue will help to understand the taste as well as it will um, swallow helps to swallow the food so when we are swallowing food we will do like this no that means we are swallowing the food okay so now this partially digested food will go to the where food pipe so now we will see what happened in the food pipe now this undigested partially digested food reach to the uh, food pipe or esophagus so it will uh, So what it will this food pipe is part of digestive system as well as it is tube kind of thing pipe kind of things and it helps to uh, food to reach to the stomach uh, okay then so how like this way you can observe this like this way food is reached to the stomach so in in the food pipe digestion process is not happening only the food we can transfer from mouth to um, this uh, stomach okay and uh, sometime you might observe when we are eating food if we talk more or we laugh we get hiccups or cough or sometimes we feel it choked okay so why it happened because food should go to the food pipe so uh, why this all things happen because if you observe our uh, body system see if you observe these two pictures here what is happening so this is uh, food pipe okay 
esophagus so food will come like this and this nose it will come so see this food will come like this so food will come like this and this nose it will go like this now you observe here what is happening cross so here this epiglottis is present okay so while we are uh, taking food this epiglottis will close the path of the uh, wind okay so food can go easily to the esophagus but if we talk more laugh more so air is going more to our body through the nose and this esophagus can control that this valve can control so what happens some food item or food particle which reach to this wind pipe this wind pipe okay so if it is reached to wind pipe what will happen because wind pipe it should not allow any food item or any small uh, dust particle anything so when it will go inside that time you will feel coughing because it is blocking the air okay so when it happened that time we will get hiccups or like that way that's why while eating we should not talk we should not laugh we should be more conscious while eating food okay sometime it can be happen very major accident also okay so why just you listen carefully why there is a one valve that is called epiglottis this epiglottis will be close the path and food will go easily so if you see this emoji also uh, G, uh, sorry this uh, picture here also you can see there epiglottis okay so like that way we can uh, control hiccups or choked or coughing during uh, food uh, okay Do, uh, while we are eating so you should remember that now food reach to the stomach so in the stomach food will get digested so first here also food will get digested so if you observe so stomach is the most widest part in our digestive system others all like tube like of things okay so only the stomach is the more di wide part in the digestive system and this digested food uh, means uh, partially digested food reach to the stomach and it will get digested in the uh, stomach here it will digest protein part okay so uh, this uh, inner lining inner layer of the food will produce three things one is mucus which uh, then another one is hydrochloric acid and last one is digestive juice so these three has different different function during digestion so this mucus what it will be protects the stomach lining stomach lining means inner part so in our wall of the stomach it will protect that means it should not so we are having so many things some has um, acidic nature uh, then some has um, this uh, um, basic nature so these all things will be controlled uh, as it will cover with the mucus the layer after that hydrochloric acid so hydrochloric acid what it will do so uh, during while we are eating some kind of bacteria or things it will be go with the food so it will be kill these germs okay hydrochloric it will kill and make the food acidic which uh, for a while the digestive juice will be uh, digest the food properly okay so then a digestive juice the digestive juice will break down the protein into amino acid so in the stomach protein will be digested and it will make simple form of amino acid okay so if you observe this uh, picture that that food item will come and it will break down and small one then it will go to the uh, small intestine okay so like that way food will be digested in stomach so today we learn till this much so digestion process 
how much happened till stomach we have learned so next class we will learn the digestion happening in small intestine then large intestine then rectum and how undigested food will go out through the anus that all we will learn in next class for this purpose i am asking you to read the textbook neatly and follow this um, video if you have any doubt ask to the group and uh, i will give some pdf work you have to complete in your class work okay so i think today you have understood this lesson thank you children